Hey, it's Time Scarf 11 with part 2 of my Gunpla collection, the rest of my Iron Blood Orphans mobile suits. If you didn't see part 1, that was going over the Tekadin Gunpla that I have. So this is the rest of the Iron Blood Orphans ones. So the first is the Greys, the regular Greys. This is my favorite of all enemy grunt suits in the Gundam franchise. It's got perfect coloring. Everything about the design is just really perfect for a grunt suit. The only grunt suit that I like better than this in general is the J-Gun. But this one is my favorite of the enemy grunt suits. I also really love the Schwalbe grays. I like that even more than the regular grays, but I do not have one of that yet. And only one set of these boosters is actually supposed to be there, but I put on both because it just looks cooler that way. I also like the way this thing is designed to have the eye open up. Overall, just a very perfectly armored suit. The design of the armor is just really nice on this thing. And it's got a really unique, cool head. Next up, the Gundam Vidar, or Vidar. As mentioned in part one of my Gunpla collection, I really like mobile suits that are designed like this, with these side booster things, whatever they're supposed to be exactly. The backpack booster on this also gives it a really cool quad wing look. One thing that I find really annoying about this one though is that the sword really wobbly so I had to stabilize it by putting in some paint on the inside to make it thicker. Also, for whatever reason, this part is really, really wobbly. I also really like the feet design on this with the blades that come out. Also, as mentioned in part one, since I don't have its rifle displayed on it, I gave the rifle to Gujian Rebake Full City. And lastly, Gundam Astaroth. Or Astaroth, I probably mispronounced the last part of the name there. I have not read, I think it's a manga that this is from, I haven't read that manga story. I just really like the design of the suit, the asymmetrical design, and of course the side boosters.
Also, this weapon it has is hilarious. Come off. Just the massive size of this sword. Probably won't have it actually hold the sword until I get a display base for it. If I get a display base for it, it's just way too big. Hilariously big. When I first got it, I tried putting it up with the sword, and it just kind of fell over. So one of my favorite parts of this is the blue arm on it. All these different parts, because it's a suit that was just armored with all kinds of salvaged parts, I believe. So this big extra hand on it is one of my favorite parts of that. So after this, I'll be going into Universal Century Gunpla that's making up the entire rest of my Gunpla collection. I have the six Iron Blood Orphan suits and I think eight. Yeah, I think it's eight. Eight Universal Century suits that I'll be going over. So... The next part of the Gunblock collection will probably be in about two weeks. So, see you next time!